This is Rich from Eat Sleep 360 and today I'm going to show you how I transformed these two 360 videos that I edited in Insta360 Studio into these two videos that I then edited in Premiere. If you're new to this channel, this is the place to come to learn and perfect your 360 videos and 360 photos. So please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be told straight away when I upload another video. For this video, we're gonna use inverted planets and tiny planets. So if you're not familiar with how to create them, then you may wanna check out these videos first. So the first video we're gonna look at is the loop the loop video. So let's open Premiere up, drag the loop the loop video that we created in Insta360 Studio onto the timeline. Now we're going to add sound effects and music to this video so we want to unlink the existing ambient sound from the video. So right click, unlink the audio and now delete the audio from the timeline. For the loop the loop video we only need to find one single loop where the bike goes round once. So trim the clip so you've got one single loop either of yourself running round, walking round or in this case of the bike going round one complete circle. Because we're only dealing with a short clip, now expand the timeline to make it easier to work with. Once you're happy with the length of your clip, now go to speed and duration and increase the speed of the clip to 300%. Now we need to duplicate the clip, so click on the clip with the left mouse key and hold down the alt button at the same time and then drag the clip to the right hand side and this will duplicate the clip. So now we have two identical clips back to back on the timeline. So on the second clip what we need to do is now click on the clip, go to speed and duration and click reverse speed. So now we have a boomerang effect where the clip goes forwards and then straight away goes backwards. Now trim the clip up as you feel fit just to make it even slicker. So now we're gonna have some fun with this clip and really bring it to life by introducing some sound effects. In this case, I've used a swoosh sound effect and I've trimmed it up and placed it underneath the first clip. Make sure you trim it up to the exact length of the first clip because then we're gonna duplicate it for the second clip. So duplicate that sound effect using the left click on the mouse button and the Alt key, drag it to the right, and now click on the speed and duration and reverse the speed of that sound effect. So now we have the sound effect, we're gonna add an additional sound layer using some ambient sound. This one's called Atmospherica. So add the second sound effect onto the timeline and trim it to the length and position that you feel is best. Now because I've cut that secondary audio clip in the middle, it's got quite a hard finish. So I'm gonna put an exponential fade on the end just to smooth it out. Now just to add even more interest, I'm gonna put a third layer of audio on the timeline. Now this is just another swoosh sound effect which will work nicely with the other two audio tracks. So if we look at this clip with any one of these sound effects, it does make it more interesting, but it looks so much better when you start combining sound effects and layering the sound. So that's the Loop the Loop video, as you saw on my Instagram feed, with all the sound effects in place. So now we're gonna look at how I made this video by combining a tiny planet and an inverted planet in Premiere. To be honest, I kind of made this video by accident because my first intention by bringing this into Premiere was to get rid of the tripod in the middle of the rolling planet. I intended to grab a section of the grass and duplicate it and then cover up the tripod. But it wasn't really the tripod that was the issue, it was the fact that I had a massive shadow that kept moving positions because the picture was rotating and I couldn't get the mask to fit correctly. So I then decided to mix an inverted planet with a tiny planet and came up with this effect, which I really like. So as with the loop the loop, drag your first clip onto the timeline. In this case, it's the rolling planet that we created in Insta360 Studio. So grab the rolling planet, put it on the timeline and trim it because we only want six or seven seconds of the clip. So find that six or seven seconds you want, trim the clip. Before we import the next clip, remember to unlink the audio, delete the soundtrack because we're gonna add our own sound effects later on. So now drag the second clip onto the timeline and the second clip is an inverted planet video. For now, we're gonna put it next to the first clip. Find the section of the clip that you want to use and trim the clip up. Now drag that clip across so it sits above the first clip trim the clip up so they're exactly the same length. And because we're dealing with short clips, it's best to expand the timeline to make it easier to work with. So now when you play the clip, the inverted planet, which is on the top of the timeline, will be the only clip that you see in the viewing window. So now click on that clip, 
on the timeline and then go to the effects control window. Go to opacity and click on the ellipse mask icon. Now as soon as you do that you'll see in the viewing window that the image immediately changes and you can now see a section of the inverted planet inside the rolling planet. So now go over to the viewing window and drag out that mask so it almost fills the entire middle of the rolling planet. Now go back over to the effects control window and under the opacity section go down to mask feather. Increase the mask feather to around 50 to 60. Now go back to the viewing window and hover the mouse over the mask. You can now move the mask around and make slight adjustments so that when you run the whole video the mask fills that entire middle of the rolling planet. Now you won't necessarily be able to get this perfect but the feathering will help you hide any imperfections. I've done this quite quickly for the purposes of this tutorial but when you do your own edit you can take your time and get it to look as best as possible. So once you're happy with the images now we can start adding some sound. The first sound effect that I added was a heartbeat. The heartbeat sound effect that I used was too slow so I've increased the pace to 200% and then I've cut it up and spaced it out on the timeline. Next I added another audio layer of breathing sound effects and again I spaced these out across the clip. To add even more interest to this clip I added a third audio layer which was an ambient soundtrack. So make sure all of your audio tracks are at the exact same length as the video, trim up the clip, change your sequence settings to either 16 by 9 or 1 by 1 and then you're done. Now editing isn't my main thing and I'm sure there will be a lot of people watching that know more than me about Premiere and they know some better shortcuts and some better ways of creating this same effect. So please let me know in the comments section about any ideas you've got to create this similar sort of effect in Premiere or any other editing software. If you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll see you on the next video.